I love it. And you know, that was hard enough growing up with a Scouse dad. But I have an Irish Catholic mother as well. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and Holy St. Joseph. <laughs> What's with the Irish women with their health hacks and remedies and like superstitions that they have? Like my mom thought if a bird was in the back garden, specifically a red robin, right? It was one of her dead relatives coming to see her and check up on her. And it was even worse, she used to feed these birds accordingly to whatever dead relative she thought was in the fucking bird. <laughs> I remember seeing her run down the street with a fucking slice of ham trying to force feed a red robin. She thought it was my Uncle Jimmy who loved a ham sandwich. And God forbid, if I was younger, had the sniffles, had a cough, and I went in, the health hacks were there. I'd come in, she'd go, Jesus, Mary, and Holy St. Joseph, your nose, it's running, are you sick? Let me, somebody get the onions now! <laughs> this woman would get onions, cut them up, and leave them all around the house. And I called her, I'm like, why, what's the point of this? She goes, well, arsehole, right? Everyone knows onions are superfoods, right? They're antioxidants. They're super suckers. They suck the germs out of the sky, arsehole, right? <laughs> I'm not an onion scientist, but I'm pretty sure that's not how onions work. <laughs> like their only job in the world is to suck an onion out of the sky or suck a germ out of the sky. And the germ's biggest kryptonite is a Spanish onion. Like that's not... <laughs> so I called her on. I said, bullshit, that's not true. She goes, well, your nose is dribbling more, so it must be working. Yeah, there's fucking onions all over the house, mom. <laughs> Jesus, and then she'd go into the kitchen, get a garlic clove, cut it all up, mince it. She'd bring it, right, put this schlop into your socks and walk around for the rest of the day. You'll be cured. Where's the scientific proof, mom? She goes, well, asshole, right? Everyone knows garlic is a superfood and you put it in, your feet have sucking capabilities. So always talking about sucking. I don't know why she was always <laughs> sucking capability. That's my mom, you cheeky bastard. Don't be look, hey, be no sucking here, you fucking cheeky. Oh, into your respiratory system and then you're cured. You're great, right? That sounds great, mom. How about a teaspoonful of fucking Benelin, right? Something clinically proven. And that wasn't it. You know, I had eczema growing up. Anybody know what eczema is? Oh, e fuck off. Eczema, that's it. Fuck all you guys. Oh, he's shit now. He's lost me now. He's lost me here. You know, and there's creams for that. There's hydrocortisone back home. There's Vaseline. Even Sudacream can help cure it, right? Or soothe it. Sudacrem, fuck off. <laughs> You're the ones who sound weird. <laughs> you know what my mom's cure for this was? She'd come in with a fucking potato. I'd say, why? She goes, well, asshole. Everyone knows you have skin. A potato has skin. Put it on your skin and the starch will suck. It'll just suck. Suck the dirty, dirty, and throw it in the bin and you'll be great. And if we didn't have a potato, this woman read somewhere that an egg shell, an egg shell helps rehydrate your skin. I think we can all collectively agree a shell is the driest fucking part of the egg. I'm there like a crackhead getting eggshell burns. Ah! Screaming anything but the shell, the fucking whites, the yolk, anything. She goes, there's no sucking capabilities and a yolk, you fucking asshole. My mom's cure to any ailment I had was just her potato salad recipe. That was it. <laughs> fucking thinking she's Jamie Oliver. You know, fucking put the potato salad on, you'll be great, right? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. You're going, okay, Kev, if it was something really serious, she'd take you to the hospital, right? The A&E. If you, you had a broken bone or maybe a gash in your leg, it was infected, she'd take you. No. <laughs> My mom's cure? Go outside and let the family dog lick it. <laughs> I said, what? She goes, yes, there's good sucking capabilities in their tongue. Good bacteria, they get the bad bacteria out. I said, the 17 year old family dog who's chewing his nuts and eating his shit. Lick my wound. She goes, yes. I said, the dog with dental disease, a UTI and a fucking leaky anal gland. He's licking his own ass right now. I can't do that. She goes, right, just put a bit of peanut butter on the wound. The dog's got glaucoma, right? He needs to figure out where to lick, right? You'll be grand though, it'll be fine, right? <laughs> Ridiculous. And you know, these health hacks and remedies, they, they only used it on us. We were the guinea pigs. They would new, never use it on themselves. But I dream of it, flipping the script, okay? Making her have a taste of her own medicine, whatever the fuck that was. 
I think of her being nine months pregnant with me in Canada. I was born in December, like it's minus 30 degrees in Canada. Her trudging to the hospital through snow banks going, Jesus, Mary, and Holy St. Joseph, I need an epidural now, the pain, it's terrible. She gets closer. Oh, please, somebody help me. Her water breaks, amniotic icicles start forming. <laughs> trying to paint a really bad picture. I just, I want her to struggle. She gets in, right? She stands there, the doctor comes out. Marlene, I'm sorry. There's no anesthesiologist in at the moment, so you won't be able to get an epidural. But don't worry, I have something better. I have a potato and a golden retriever in the back. You'll be grand. Thank you so much, guys. My name is Vin Kevin.